Hello everyone, welcome to the next session on Ansys Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are going to analyze the Gaussian pin for its modal analysis. The Gaussian pin, as you know, is also called as Lisp pin or Piston pin. The use of Gaussian pin is to connect the piston to the small end of the connecting rod. So this piston ring basically fits through this connecting rod which is also connected to the piston. As you can see the Gaussian pin is clipped on both the sides with the help of this circlip or retaining ring. So we are going to use this as a boundary condition and analyze the piston pin. We will first start by double clicking on modal module. We will go to engineering data. There are various materials that can be used for the analysis of Gaussian pin. I am using alloy steel as a material because it is very tough and it will help the piston pin sustain for a longer time because it is subjected to a pull kind of force at the piston pin when the piston keeps on oscillating in the IC engine. So we will start by allocating the material as alloy steel. I already have the properties with me, so I will be directly giving the values here. You can take up these values and use it for your analysis. First, I will give the value of density for alloy steel. 7700 kg per meter cube. Also, I will give the value of isotropic elasticity. The value of Young's modulus is 2.1 E. 11 newton per meter square that is pascal and the poisons ratio is 0 0.28 so once i've given this value i go back to project update project next i'll go to geometry and right click i'll import the geometry I have already created the geometry in the previous session. You can go through the design of piston pin. Next, I'll go to model. First, I'll go to geometry and change the material to alloy steel. I'll give the meshing as fine and update. Next I'll go to model and I'll insert fixed support. There will be fixed support on both the sides. So this is fixed support 1 and I'll insert fixed support 2. Next, I'll go to solution and I'll solve. I'll click here. The right click, select all. The right click, create mode shape results. So, by default, there are six modes in answers. So, it will create six deformations. I'll go to solution and solve once again. So you can see here these are the frequencies which have been obtained. These are obviously very high natural frequencies of the piston pin. We'll go for the first one. I'll animate and see. So this is the first mode of vibration you can see at the natural frequency of 6012.6 hertz. The total deformation at this stage is 78.188. This is the maximum value which you can see at the center. Next, we'll go for the second deformation. You can again animate and check the result. You can just turn the body to see its type of motion. 
Here the frequency is again 6012.6 and the deformation is 78.188 mm. The values are same but the mode of vibration is different. You can see the, the pattern of its motion is different. Now we go for the third one. Here the natural frequency that you obtain is 7956.4 Hz and the total deformation is 101.46 mm. Deformation is also quite large and so is the natural frequency. Next we will go for the fourth one. Here the natural frequency is again the same 7958.2 same as that of the third one and the deformation is exactly the same 101.54 mm. But you can see the pattern of its motion is different. When you go for the fifth deformation you can see its pattern of motion. The value of frequency is 10376 hertz. The value of deformation is 96.07 mm. You can see the way it is going to move under this frequency. And this will be the amount of deformation induced in the body. The value of frequency is quite high and so is the value of deformation. These two values are large which indicates that at a very high value of this natural frequency when this is attained this pin is going to react in this way but obviously the entire piston assembly doesn't reach this natural frequency hence the pin will be safe under this type of loading here in modal analysis what we take is only the boundary condition that is fixed over here so this is how the pin is going to move and when you see the sixth one, the natural frequency is same as that of the fifth one and so is the value of deformation. But you can see there is a difference in the pattern of its motion. Alloy steel is one material which has given these results. You can change the material and you can see what will be the value of natural frequency and deformation at that for that material and those properties of that material. Steel is another material which can be used. Steel is the most common material used because steel is very tough and your material here can go into cyclic loading. So steel is definitely good with cyclic loading. We will discuss about that in the session of static structural. As of now, we are just discussing about the frequencies and the deformation. Now, I would like to add something here that is when you go to the solution part, you have seen six of them which appear directly on the screen. But when I go to analysis settings and I change the number of mode, I would want to see that if I have 10 modes, what would be the pattern of its motion. So I have to solve once again. I'll just right click select all create more shape results you will see okay uh, so it's just got repeated what you can do is you can remove the seventh one so I deleted 7 to 12 what remains is 13 14 15 16 so I just got 10 results here I'll go to solution and solve once again I want to see that for the seventh one, you can see here, though the deformation numbers are not in order, but when you see the table to the right, the mode number is 7. Here the value of frequency is 10681 hertz and you can see the deformation has reduced. It is 80.325 mm. You can see its pattern of motion is also different. You can go to the next one, that is the eighth mode. The value of frequency is 12582 hertz. Again, the value is increasing. Here, the value of deformation is decreasing. It is 74.321 mm. We will check its pattern of motion. You can see the way it vibrates. See the ninth one. The value of frequency is 12582. Similar to that of the eighth one. And the value of deformation is also the same. You can see the pattern of motion is almost same but you can see the intensity has increased a bit. And when you go for the 10th one, the value of frequency is 14394 hertz 
and the value of deformation is 97.045 mm you can see its pattern of motion it's obviously different than all others that you have seen in this way you can analyze the Gaussian pin for its model analysis you can figure out what are the various frequencies and deformation attained by that body for the material of alloy steel with this i end the session i hope you have understood the analysis if you have any doubts please write to me in the comment section don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon for latest video updates see you in the next session thank you